Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Garage Gym Experiment Podcast. My name is Adam, that's Jake, and we're back again for another great episode. On tonight's episode, we're going to start off with some collab ideas, and then we're going to get into some data on the Rogue NFL Power Bars Rep or Rogue Racks and Adonis or CTM. Uh, we have attachment purchase follow-up and other home gym updates after that. And then we're going to round this thing out with new products from Rep, Abmat, GetRx, and Griffin. So if you want to hear about those new products, stick with us to the end. With that, Jake, over to you. All right. Thank you, Adam. And uh, fresh off the um, PRX stuff, I was just kind of thinking about some other potential collabs. Um you know, this this is just to get the ideas rolling. Some of these, we've done this in the past. Some of these are repeats, um, but I think there's nine total. Also, like, some some of these won't work out, and a lot of these people are probably like, why would we ever collab with them? But um, these are just some ideas, just to get the ideas rolling. Um, uh, I'll run through all of these, and Adam, just... Uh, Maybe at the end, let me know which one, um, which ones you think are the best. You guys do the same thing in the comments, and also feel free to in the comments add your own collab ideas as well. All right, number one. So, um, uh, body solid and dialed motion. So I personally own this um, portable rower that doesn't include um, an actual rower. You just move it up to a cable system and and do the rowing um it's pretty it's pretty cool and then also at home gym con we saw this bench that connects to a cable where you can do leg curls and leg extensions uh, i think body solid has some solid pulley systems but they don't have anything quite as versatile as the the dialed motion products and i think it'd be a cool collab to see um dialed motion hook up there um, pulley systems to something portable like uh, a leg extension and rower and then I also think it'd be a nice kind of add-on that body solid people could add on to their racks so uh, so that's number one uh, collab idea number one collab idea number two is a repeat we've done this in the past but um, I've owned multiple kabuki bars I've also I also own the Darko um, Anchor, Anchor. I just think this would be a good way for a Kabuki to get um, kind of indebted into the home gym community, specifically after, you know, new new launch, new website um, with Darka, who is, you know, a community member as products are born from the community uh, um, through the Discord, et cetera. So, so, so um, I, am, I mean, I imagine, you know, Kabuki selling these, uh, on their website for their for barbell for their own barbells to be stored on other racks uh, i think that would be a cool collab a rogue and surplus strength so the universal pulley system has been an alternative for um, many rogue rack owners for a while now and i still do think that's the case even with the with all of the functional trainer add-ons that rogues added so the universal pulley system is you know still more versatile it's quite a bit cheaper you know it's not going to do as much but um i still see a, a quite a large market for the universal pulley system and it might even be a more efficient way to do the um rhino add-on so i i mean the universal pulley system is also one of those things you know pretty much one man is creating it if you if you're going to order it there's a backlog and um you know i think in improved um mass manufacturing would definitely help this product get out to more of the public next up prx opportunity to redeem themselves with uh club of belt the in this example um prx i believe is the only company to offer a um wall mounted landmine and it's just a basic landmine no no frills uh, i think it'd be cool to kind of add another element to it with uh with clever belt so you you merge you merge this um wall mounted landmine with the uh precision and um 
functionality of a Clevabel uh, Adroit landmine, and it merges to be a pretty cool, cool product. Uh, next up, so JD Gym Equipped is pretty much um, offering the nicest stainless steel rack attachments um, possible. Um, you know, they have these, they're very well known for, for making everything in stainless steel. Uh, it's not cheap. It's made in America. But I imagine that there's there's some some good collab opportunities with them. Um, I, I mean, I think about like um, anybody who's releasing a new pulley system, you could do some sort of collab with the first X amount of people to buy, get a an upgraded lap pull down bar from JD Jimmy Equipped or something like that. Or uh, I've always thought like Force USA should do uh, a, an upgraded package um, with their with their um, rack attachments as opposed to just the basic setup. So giving giving people an opportunity to buy maybe spend a, another thousand dollars to have a premium set of of attachments for their um, pulley system. Okay, um, you know Bridge Built's another one of those companies where I think awesome product. Um, beautiful stuff but it takes a long time to get it so i think uh there's a few different you know options for someone like bridgeville and patrick seems like the guy the type of guy that might not want to do anything like this ever in the first place but i'm just kind of throwing it out there um someone like rep to create a phoenix rack um because it is patented patented nobody has the ability to make anything like this and it I think there's quite a bit of people who might want something like this, but they know they're going to have to wait months to get it. So maybe partnering with somebody like Rep uh, to create the Phoenix Rack would be a good option. And then I also think like um, some sort of like facil facility outfitter or like some sort of athletic outfitter. Uh, athletics outfitting um, company who's putting in a full gym for a team. I think the Phoenix racks would be good squat racks that you could like move onto a football field. So like maybe a company like Sorenex could add in X amount of uh, Phoenix racks into uh, a package. Um, just thought. But my, the big thing there is um, takes a while to order. Um, and I think it it limits certain people from ordering uh, a foldable a foldable foldable rack like bridge builds. Um, same kind of concept with um, mutant metal. So I think the arc pull down attachment is a great concept. I think they should partner up with Rogue and do this um, at kind of at a more mass manufacturing level. I think it's a versatile tool um, that would um be less for for people to less equipment that people would need to have next up if you've heard my podcast with sean from banff you know he's looking for a another manufacturer i think he's looking more specifically for somebody within the united states to manufacture the bam pammer however if he's looking for someone to do it overseas um, I think French Sport and Peter Keller have the right kind of brand to where they would um, adapt the Bam Pammer and be able to, if they can find the right manufacturer overseas, it doesn't sound like an easy product to make. But I think that would be a good fit for um, the Bam Pammer to be redistributed at an even better, uh, an even higher level if he had any. Um, if he didn't have reservations about making it overseas. And lastly, dialed motion again, um, and Iron Master this time. So Iron Master has a few different um I think that they have I think they have a Smith machine and then also this um lap pull down where you can actually use adjustable dumbbells. I think there's a lot of people who um if you if you have a plate loaded system, um, it would be pretty easy to just stick on some adjustable dumbbells, or just as easy to to use a pulley system with adjustable dumbbells. So, um, dialed motion, creating something um, with like Iron Master, so that their dumbbells could go onto 
the a certain pulley system. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say that the one that I like the best or the one that stuck out the most to me as uh, something that you could like actually like see like right away happening would be that Kabuki and Darko combination. Kind of like you buy the bar and um, like similar to like how um, Kleva comes with like adding that barbell pillows. It's a little bit more than just a barbell pillow, but you buy a Kabuki bar and you get a set of uh anchors with it i think that'd be a super cool collab like you said like darko's in the community seems like kabuki's like relaunching trying to get things going again it would make a lot of sense and like those bars are hard to soar so that's what i like the best yeah yeah i think i i think i agree that might be the easiest one so all right i think i would love to see the bamf and that was Fringe everyone, yeah. happen yeah that would be cool cool well if anybody else has ideas again this is this is just like me whipping them up together pretty quickly thinking of some ideas yeah let us know in the comments if you think of any other good ones um moving on to some some data so rogue released some nfl bars and plates you can basically get your favorite football team or any football team onto all of their main bars and also all of their main bumper plates. However, only 7% voted high interest, 15% medium interest, and mostly low interest with 78%. Uh, they do look cool, but I don't think many people want to pay too much extra for the football logos. Did you have thoughts? Yeah, do you know what the upgrade is to add that? Nah, not off the top of my head. I just know it's more. Yeah, and like, what do you think they paid like licensing to be able to do this? I it had to be a, a ton. Yeah, who who does yeah. like the NFL? Um, do they get to pick, or does the NFL partner or do certain teams partner with certain companies to outfit their weight rooms? Do you know how that works? I have no idea. That would be interesting. I if mean, like, I, I think it's. Pr- I think it's probably by facility. Facility, yeah. Makes sense. But I know, I mean, Rogue had Rogue had a presence at the NFL Combine. So maybe they have okay. some sort of relationship with the NFL. Indianapolis? Like or America. NFL in general? Yeah. I do like the examples yeah, that you, you put up there. That top bar does look pretty sweet. It's hard to make purple and yellow <laughs> look cool, but that's, that's pretty cool. Those are our teams. Um, all right, so we also asked Rep Adonis or Rogue CTM. Um, you could choose between those two, and also I need more info. So, the most popular answer with about 40% of the votes was the Rogue CTM, which uh, I believe should be released in the next week or so if all goes according to plan. The Rep, Ad- the Rep Adonis had about 33% of the votes. And then 28-ish percent need more info to decide. So um, I think everyone or those that I've discussed this with were very surprised with the price of Rogue's Made in America option. Yeah, it's the they think they just tried to match the Adonis's price. Yeah, it is uh, pretty much fully Made in America. Has some more different height options the adonis has the pegasus seat which is kind of seems like that its biggest um advantage but yeah i'm I'm, i was pretty surprised at the rogue price too hey i'm struggling with their little abbreviations here it looks like they have the ctm and the ctml and i can't figure out the difference um let me look maybe they they both have like um the ability to be plate loaded or weight stacks i mean i see ctm1 yeah there's ctm1 and then there's the ctml1 (laughs) that's what i'm looking oh monster light one okay so it's the whole spacing and uh you think yeah it looks like they're using five eighths inch holes Price is the same, twenty seven fifty. Okay. Yeah, so I you can get it with one inch holes or the five eighths inch holes. Weird. 
Where do you see C- M? It just came up in my Google. Uh, I Googled Rogue CTM, and then it gave the top two results were CTM1 and CTML1. And you're right, it is Monster Light with 5 8 inch holes, or you can get the Monster version with one inch holes. Oh, looks like about a $200 price difference. Or is it oh, I didn't see the price, price difference. I, $2750, I thought, uh, 2750 for the CTM. The CTM oh, yeah, same L. Price. Yeah, same price. It looks same like thing. the CTML, the CTML is hidden on the search. Really? Interesting. But you can find it on Google. Yeah, was, uh, yeah, that's a good find, Adam. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thanks. I don't know why you would go with Monster Light unless you like wanted to attach to well, a rack or something. What what kind of attachments do you think you're gonna I guess if you wanted to use this if you have the seat already? Maybe? Or if you wanted to connect it to like your rack. Yeah. Somehow. Makes so. yeah. Okay. Or if you like already have like a monster light rack and you have like a dip attachment and a land oh, mine. Yeah, I guess I don't you could, know yeah, that. yeah, dip off it with the you can use the low row for weighted dips or yeah. smart. Yeah. All right. And then the last data question we have is where are you most likely to buy a power rack? Uh so we asked this one a few weeks ago. The easy winner was rep with forty six percent of the votes. Uh Rogue had thirty six. 5% of the votes, Titan had 11% of the votes, and then Bells of Steel had 8% of the votes. So kind of just asked what, based off of like maybe the most four popular um, places to buy a rack. And then how did that change from last year? So we changed, it, changed up the question a tad bit. But last year, Rogue had 39% of the votes. That's down 11%. Rep had 35%. They had a 32% increase in the votes. Titan votes were up 19%. And then um, uh, other other last year had six about 17% of the votes. So kind of kind of threw it off a little bit. But you still see a, a large jump in rep and then a uh, a decently sized. Uh, loss or rogue. All right, and then um, on the last podcast, I I said that I had bought these um, signature fitness multifunctional, you know, Magric knockoffs, but with um, handles that you could actually grip. Um, or what's what's the word for that? Ergonomic. Um, ergonomic. Yes. So, um, feedback after a month or so, they are not quite there. Um, they're very hard and, um, you basically need to find a perfect angle, pull it down or else it just, it's just too hard on like the hands. Um, and then it, the, you feel it even more as you go up to heavier weight. And then all of these, there's there's two of them that are kind of wide grip and then three that are closed grip. None of the three for closed grip can be used for pull downs. They're all for like rows. And then I have an example here. So you can you can see like the angles not quite there. Like you're like, like it's just, yeah. it ha- do you see, this is the worst one. So it's like right up against my face. So you'd, you'd literally, it, it just like it tilts and with the hands hand placement it just doesn't it doesn't work so i would say the only one that i kind of like is the the widest one and then maybe there's another one there's the the second to the top or second to the bottom in the picture is decent for rows but in general they suck um, I don't even want to sell them on marketplace for like five bucks. So I still have them, but they really should go straight to the trash. Um, I would say, you know, they could fix the angles to make them a little, little bit better and also make them maybe a little softer so that there's a little more cushion, but yeah, these, these aren't quite there. So I give the, those a D. For for the most part, overall D actually overall D. And then uh, a few other no news in my home gym. So 
Um, I did. I, I I said this a few months ago that I was looking at a standalone leg curl slash extension, and I was leaning towards the Gronk one. It just seemed like the best value with the best. It looked like upgraded padding from the Titan. Um, just like a, a an improved version of the Titan, which I've used in the past and, you know, have had no real qualms with for the price. Um, I, I don't mind the plate loaded. Um, for my training style, I usually like to do the higher, higher rep stuff anyways. So, um, you know, initial impressions for the price, very solid. I, you know, there's probably some that are similar that are just as effective but um i would i would recommend this for anybody that wants to stick within that like 700 dollars range for a standalone leg curl slash extension um you know the primary reason i wanted i i, I love the bulletproof isolator but i really want to get that off the rack and clear it up a little bit and then um you know i have like 10 different collars in my home gym and just want to give a quick shout out to Titan because the Titan twist lock um, barbell collars are the ones that I find myself going to just about every time. They, um, you know, you can, they have magnets so you can store them on your rack or wall control or other storage systems. So they're kind of like right there, ready to go. And then um, they're easy to lock on. Uh, and then. And then I'll also just mention, like, they, they probably aren't as strong as, um, you know, some of the best collars in the world, but they provide enough sort of uh, um, protection um, that I need. So, so I, I uh, recommend them as well. Yeah, and they're, like, they're fun to play with. That's so unnecessary to say. I remember when you first got them, like I just kept taking them out of the box, just like twisting them back and forth. I, I literally couldn't stop. It was like an adult like fidget spinner. It's yeah. a very um there's a word for that where the clicks and everything are just very pleasing. But ASMR? I don't know what that means. What is that? I don't know if I'm using that term right. <laughs> I've got Google already open. Um <laughs> All right, let's uh let's 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 finish them this off with some some new products. Um, okay, hold so on, hold on. Hyperion, I think you're right. Did you look up ASMR? I sure did. Autonomous sensory meridian response. Meridian response. A term to be used to describe a tingling, static like or goosebumps. Oh no, you use right. That's okay. I liked it. Close. All right. Hyperion Series 1 Cable Crossover. So this is Rep's version of the Monster Cave. For what's on the screen, you're looking at about $7,000, which probably just a little bit cheaper than, than Rogue, Rogue's option. I won't go through all of that. You can kind of see what it is. It's basically Re Rep's response to the Monster Cave. It is Series 1, so I am curious to, to see if there's going to be like a Series 2 or series three and like what all that entails. So um we'll see. The uh bench grip cover from Abmat. So this is a cover that secures to um benches you using elastic and velcro scraps. So you wrap it around. It adds some a grippy vinyl um to both sides. Um lightweight, easy to uh to take to a gym or store away and then i think uh you know this will come would come in handy uh specifically during the your sweatiest workouts um i think this would this would uh i don't think it would fit my bulletproof isolator but it would my bulletproof isolator sometimes get re gets really slippery um during the extra sweaty workouts and it's easy easy kind of easy to slide off same with the the uh iron master bench so i think this would this pairs well with a lot of um, products that are already on the market uh, i think a good idea from abmat the havoc mass is very cool so um this is from havoc uh released uh last week um and it's kind of it's kind of hard to explain but 
you can do um, trap bar movements with um, just like two weight pegs, or you can also do it with um, four in each of the corners. Um, and then it also separates as like a strong man, so you can use it for um, farmer's carries. And you can probably get creative and do more. So um, very innovative product that I, that I have wouldn't have thought of. Um, you can, it also includes multiple grip, multiple grip widths, weight horns, several finish options. As you can see in the pictures, um, the price starts at a thousand dollars though. So, um, you know, maybe out of our budget, Adam, but it's, yeah, but uh, for those strong cool. men, yeah, those strong men, that's obviously what I'm thinking of with all these carrying implements. Like it can do a lot for like one piece. So. And strongman equipment I mean, seems to be pretty expensive. Very cool. I'd be curious to I'd be curious to feel how different it feels with like the the four corner trap bar deadlift versus like the center just two weight horn uh, sure. trap bar deadlift. Uh, yeah, I think this is a really cool idea. I hope I hope this uh, does well for for Havoc. Have you um, going back to ab mats? Have you ever had issues with like? sliding on the bench it's always yeah. been a thing like i've seen at the gym where people like you know they wrap the bands around as they're like digging their lats in and you know just going for their heavy benches maybe it's because i've never benched above 400 it's never been a thing for me but i know for people like especially power lifters this is a, this is a big deal like this type of stuff like this but i've never had that issue while benching like sliding so out or anything of, like one that one of my one of my favorite things to do is echo bike and leg extensions or echo bike and dumbbell bench or just bench. And during those workouts, you get super sweaty and definitely that you can definitely start to, to slip, um, on specific benches more with like the yeah. older, old, the older, um, style um vinyl on the yeah. benches it reminds me of like um it's mostly like the high school kids they used to grab like the uh they used to grab the yoga mats cover the bench and then they used to wrap it with the uh <laughs> um <laughs> they used to wrap it with the bands to get it like really tacky and stuff like that and, and i'm not i mean you can bench whatever you want to bench but it, they would do all that work for their like 205 bench <laughs> and that was always I don't think you need that, but like <laughs> yeah, for the big boys, like it, you know, you're, you're putting up like five, 600 pounds. Yeah. Totally made sense. Yeah. No, I actually like that idea for like, probably, I don't know the price, but yeah, no, I know it's a, enough, a thing that people it. really want. Um, I just never had that issue with bench. Um, all right. A few, a so few more. So, so um, uh, Griffin's monolith attachments are very well known for being, um, just easier to adjust. They're not quite as bulky as some others, and they're more compact and um, kind of more of a friendlier home gym version. Um, and they just came out with version 2.0. Uh, so they, they do now include a longer reach and larger, larger hook, so there's more room to rest your barbell. They also include the ability to lock in the J-hooks so that you can use it as a traditional J cup, which is kind of cool. Um, more UHMW protection and uh, chrome pen to prevent upright scratching. So this looks like a good home gym option for a monolift from Griffin. Um, D grips from Darko Lifting, or a, a few of his primary products are the Longy and Shorty Bar, which are known for multiple with handles for you to for you to put in handles for like pull downs and rows he just added these 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 new d grips so that you can pretty much just put them onto the bar and use them um kind of for the same movements um but without without the handles uh so i personally would like these because most of most of my like lap pull down movements if i use something like this I, I'm not able to get full extension. So this would be, I think this would be a cool option for, for a lot of people um, who, are, who have lat pull downs that are barely tall enough for them. So a uh, good idea from Darko lifting. And then 
think this is the last one. So, um, Get Our X came out with um, a few s- single column functional trainers. Uh, so, this is the RX3 freestanding and then the wall mount single column trainer 3000s. So, these are, you know, single columns, but they have three by three uprights. Um, they're made of 11 gauge steel and they have one inch holes. So you can add additional uh, attachments, maybe like a ditch attachment, a dip attachment, or, um, you know, an, an infinity arm. Uh, it also has the pulley ratio that can be adjusted from two to one or one to one. It doesn't have as nice of a, like, uh, or not as, it's it's more, it is just a, a single column and doesn't include like a lap pull down section, but you could probably make do if you really wanted to. And then uh, the price right now is uh, about half the price of like the Adonis during during this pre order. Uh, so I do like these as kind of like the a middle ground between the more basic bells of steel standalone columns and what we discussed earlier with. Uh, Rogue and um, a rep. Um, any comments on those new products, Adam? Um, yeah, I love to see the stuff coming out from Rep to kind of like mimic the the Monster Cave. Um, I love that look, by the way, where your your rack is a centerpiece, but attached to it are all everything else that comes with it. Um, when I saw the Griffin monoliths, I I was like, oh yes, I love these things, and then it reminded me that, um. Reminded me of the, the mutant metal snapbacks. This ones I've seen more of. Maybe I shouldn't have said they look like. Well, a, these a, these don't have the rollers like the mutant metals. Mutant metals right. have the rollers. Yeah. That's what they're well known for. But I love these like compact um, monolith attachments. Super cool. Yeah, I like those too. Pretty sick. Cool. Well. That's going to do it for us tonight. If you like tonight's episode, be sure to keep your eye out for new episode releases wherever you listen to your podcast. Stay involved on our social media sites by following Garage Gym Experiment and taking part in our Sunday surveys so that you can be a part of the conversations. Like, follow, subscribe to the channel on YouTube and get involved on our website for all your home gym content needs. We didn't mention it tonight, but Home Gym Con coming up next June. Uh, we want to see you there in Louisville or Louisville or Louisville. However you choose to say it, that's where we want to see you in June. Uh, get your tickets at homegymcon.com. Visit the socials, Home Gym Con. It'll be the third ever, and it's going to be biggest yet. Jake, anything else left for the listeners? Negative. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. We appreciate you. Catch you next time. Bye.